Well, this used to be our sifter that we did when we were doing sifting by hand. Sorry for the wind, it's still windy. And we had plans to rebuild it anyway, so no huge loss. This was just all built out of scrap. That's probably something we'll do again. So we gotta rebuild our sifter. Tumbleweeds get everywhere. Oh man. Everywhere. All right, so we had some wicked winds yesterday. This is that pen that we, that we just put up for the new birds. Here are their two coops, and then this is our original coop over here. But I think because that roof, we're not gonna rebuild it with that roof. Lifted it, tumbled it up and over. One of these coops did get knocked over, no big deal. These are pretty formidable coops. Um, that is one thing I have to say about this brand of prefab coops. They are very durable. We are not sponsored by anyone, but these are very, very durable. We had to pull this one out from the black pen because that pen with this um, hitting the black pen, it shifted it and it blocked the door. So last night we pulled it away so the birds could get in there and be safe for the night. But once it warms up, it's still in the mid thirties and getting windy as you can hear. Uh, we're gonna get out here clean this all up, see what's salvageable. And like I said, we're not gonna put that roof back on. We'll probably put some um, T-posts in at the corners to help hold the cage of that pen in place. None of the birds were injured, thank God. They're all still doing fine. And they hardly seem phased. So everybody's doing great. But like I said, it is freaking cold, especially with that wind. So probably this afternoon we're gonna get out here and work on this a little bit. Uh, we have a friend that's gonna come over and help us as well. So we'll show you some of that. But the birds, they're pretty tolerable in this weather. I'm sure it scared the crap out of them, but that's what happens. Holy crap, again. Just amazing. And now the wind's coming out of the north. Yesterday it was coming out of the south. We got wind gusts over 35 miles an hour, knocked down our wind, or I'm sorry, our uh, weather station thing, and we stopped getting any readings for a few hours yesterday during the height of this windstorm. Um, but it is quite cold today for us. So we'll show you some footage of us uh, trying to clean this mess up. All right, so Don got this pen straightened out. We decided we're gonna put all three coops in that pen. It's a little bit crowded, but it's a nice way to keep all the birds safe in one area. The pen that we brought home with the seven hens that we got from uh, Paul and Susan, we're not quite sure that it survived that tumble with the wind that we had yesterday. Um, we're just gonna take it apart and take it out of here and maybe just hang on to it in case we need a pen for something else um, urgently. So, you know, perhaps down the line, when we get the goats, we'll need a pen to uh, hold them temporarily, or if we have sick goats or, you know, anything, sick animals, or if we have friends who bring their uh, pets down with them, we can actually have a separate pen for those animals as well. Um, Rob and Chrissy's dogs know the property. They never go off the property. Um, and so we rarely put them in a, in a pen when they're here, but we just have the dog house that we showed you in an earlier video 
um, that they can hang out in if they want to when they're outside and if they decide to sleep outside because sometimes it gets a little too uh, hot to sleep inside uh, for the dogs. Um, of course they are like they love to sleep with the kids you know so hey. Anyway that's how it is. So right now we have all three coops in this pen. Um, all the birds are going to have to get used to it and if you can hear them they're kind of yelling at me now because this is something new. They don't like a lot of change too often and with the storm yesterday, the tumbling of the pen, things kind of got them a little rattled up. They've been okay today. Um, when Tom came over, uh, they yelled at him a little bit because he's a stranger to them. Um, but the more they see him, the less they'll, they'll be likely to do that. So, uh, we got some birds in there getting acquainted with the new arrangements. And we've got everybody else out here just kind of scavenging and digging their holes for their dust baths and that kind of thing. Um, we're, like I said, we're going to take that one apart uh, and just store it somewhere. Take all that uh, fabric probably off of it because we think that that probably contributed. That and that metal roof contributed to it being lifted up. Um, we're likely to put some T-posts on a couple of the corners on this uh, black pen and help secure it in place. Now these coops, they're the snap lock from Form, Formex. We are not sponsored at all. We bought this larger one. Don and I bought them when we got our first chickens. They are very pricey. This large one has been tumbled in the wind at least three times and has no damage. A few little scratches, nothing's broken. It still functions perfectly. So I have to say, if you're looking for um, a ready-made, uh, uh, coop that snap lock from formex is a good way to go like i said we are not sponsored at all they are very pricey the one that we have the larger one um we paid about 750 for that was a couple of years ago paul and susan paid probably about paul and susan paid probably about 350 each for these smaller ones they've had them for a lot longer there is some structural issues with those but nothing that can't be overcome and all in all they survived that tumble as well. One of the coops actually got tumbled over. Everything was still in place. Um, you know, the only thing we lost was an egg. Hi, girls. You may have to move all these tools. Some parts. What are you doing up there? What are you doing up there? Get down. Get down. If you'll get down, I can get you some snacks. But you gotta get down. But you gotta get down. Excuse me. Come on. Down you go. Alright, what do we want? What do you want? Grains or worms? I want grains. You keep coming up? What's the deal? There you go. What are you doing? I know you want the worms. Worm your worms. Worm your worms. Worm your worms. Worm your worms. So I'm going to put this uh, little forage cake, it's a treat that they, they like. I'm going to put it in this pen. 
that way it'll encourage them all to come in and get familiar with the new digs, uh, the new arrangement. These two um, coops that we put actually fully inside the pen are in the same orientation as they've been. They're a little bit closer together, but their orientation will be familiar to the birds that we've got from Susan and Paul, and that will help them with this transition to this new pen. Um, what are you fussing? Anyway, that'll get them over here. I just gave them some of their favorite treats, which are the little mealworms um, and some uh, scratch grains. They love that stuff. But we're going to put this in here, and hopefully that'll encourage them all to come in here as well. There you go. All right, so I'm going to take you on in here. This is the orientation of our original uh, coop. It always has been in this opening. This uh, pen is made so that you can take this panel off and move something like this to it. Um, or hook it up to an all long run or something, you know, if you have a dog run or whatever you have. But this is a larger uh, of those snap lock pens, or coops, I should say. Um, it's I can't remember what it's rated for. And then these are the two that we got from Susan and Paul. Um, like I said, we oriented them the same way that they are used to them, so that this transition will go hopefully as smoothly as possible. It's a little bit tight quarters in here. We're not going to put the shade cloth back up here. Uh, they'll have plenty of shade with these two raised coops. They're up above, so they've got shade underneath each of them. We've also got shade cloth that we put up on top. This is not as dense, um, so it does let a lot of the air flow through. And then this one that here, we got to reaffix this one on this side, and that'll give them a little bit of uh, shade, a little bit of sun protection, um, because we don't have much around here, as you can tell. There's no trees. The only tree we've got is our uh, pecan tree over here and it uh, is still very small so it's not really providing a whole lot of shade one of these days it's gonna just go to town i'm hoping and really grow but that's our story we're gonna take this one apart this whole pen is gonna come apart and like i said we're gonna uh, just hold on to these parts in case we need it for something oh sugar you need to open the gate dad we're not ready for that yet sugar 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 the birds will get out the wind took a few things, not everything. We want to make sure this huge run is protected from any predators from above. Um, so far, we haven't had any predators during the daylight hours uh, bother the birds. And when they're in the pen at night with the coops closed, any predator that might get into the run won't have a chance to get into the coops. They are very secure. Um, I'm very confident about how secure these coops are. Um, so they get locked up in their coops every night. They'll all divide themselves between the three coops. Um, and however they, they go, they go. Uh, and they'll get, uh, like I said, we come out after they're all settled in there. We close up the doors and close up the pen. We make sure everything's secure so that they're protected. So that's this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like this video, share it, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. And hopefully it'll be pretty soon on the build of the house. So one thing that I did want to mention, um, we lost Loki this week. Uh, the injuries that he sustained from um, that line poisoning. We thought he was out of the woods, but he absolutely was not. We didn't take into consideration that if he got it in his mouth, it went all the way through. So he just uh, uh, couldn't survive those injuries from that line poisoning. So sadly, we did lose him this week. Um, so it's a little bit sad. 
We tried to hold on to him as long as we could, but it was just uh, miserable for him. And we just had to let him go. 